Good afternoon, LC people. Well, I came up here about half eight, nine o'clock this morning um, and had some stuff to sort out for the powder coaches. And I had a, got a bit of a plan for today. Um, but my mate wasn't coming up till a bit later on. He got to find out some stuff for this RD500 at home. So I was like, okay. Um, but before I delved into all the powder coating work for the bike that I stripped, few days ago the black one that's all on here it's uh it's all become very dysfunctional this morning but anyway i started off and i thought well i'll wait for him i bought this new new headlight uh off the bay and i quite like the look of it in the pictures on the bay so i bought it it's like 44 quid not expensive obviously not as great a quality as the original headlight but to be fair the light it casts off is is really really nice it's nice and bright i was happy with that so I did that, and I put my other headlight in a, in a box, and obviously I'll go home um, in case I want to change it back. So anyway, I left that. Uh, my mate showed up, and basically he's pulled this 500 out. We're going to do a rolling chassis on it. And anyway, he's been pulling bits and boxes out and whatever else and all kind of stuff. Um but unfortunately, the linkage you need to put the back swing arm on isn't here. Um, all that linkage is on there, but there's some more bracket work for under the frame to connect that bit under there somewhere. But he's realised they're at home and he's not brought them. So, unfortunately, this is ground to a stop. Um, we've got some mopeds from 1955. This is going to just twist your noodle. It twisted mine when we bought them. Um, they're called Philips Gadabouts. And Philips, as you know, is, is a British brand. And back in the 50s, um, I don't know how this happened, but they've actually got German engines in these bikes. There's no nothing great about them in the sense they just look like uh, mobilettes or little Italian scooters. They're not here at the minute because we still haven't pulled them out. Um, but I'll probably do a post about that when I pull them out in case anybody's interested. But, yeah, can you imagine that? 19 mid-50s, and a British company is using a German engine in the mopeds to sell. And one of them is, was actually a local bike. I had one owner, and we bought it off a guy last year, and another one that wanted restoring. And they'd been in his family since the mid-50s. I think it was his mum's, which is really odd. But anyway, that's another story for another day. So, yeah, at the minute, my mate's gone for dinner. So when he comes back... We've got to sort stuff out and take it to the powder coaters. So the plan was powder coaters, 500, get the um, mopeds out. A trip to Mark Cordwell's. And it's all gone peaked on. Oh, well. Thanks for watching. Um, I'll, probably, <laughs> I'll be up here tomorrow. and Because uh, the guy's coming to collect his white one over there that I did a lot of work on the other day. As you probably know, I was on it a few days. Finished off the rebuild for him. And there's a few bits left to do on it. But that's for him. So hopefully that'll go tomorrow and free up a bit of space. Because as you can see, <laughs> this place is actually bloody full. And I've ran out of space. But anyway, thanks for watching, folks. <clears throat> the engine that we've bought for the, the bike up here is down there for now. Until we get round to that. Anyway, thanks for watching. Dilly dilly.